Hey beautiful people, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Sephora Pro Editorial Palette. Um, it is very new and very beautiful. So this is basically what the packaging looks like if you're like trying to spot it in stores. And this is what the outside looks like. I love the packaging. It's holographic and it's like very matte black. You can see my fingernails or my fingers on it but i love this packaging and if you want to know what i think about this palette just keep on watching so to start up this first impressions i put laura mercier under my eyes because i heard that this palette has fallout like my mom um my mom has this palette and when she was watching them they seemed kind of like powdery so i don't want fallout on my under eyes because like i got the editorial palette so it's very bright um i'll show you what it looks like in a second but that's why i just want you guys to know like that's why i look crazy right now but it's okay so this is what the palette looks like it is so beautiful i'm going for more of um i think purple look i don't know yet i think like purple and pinks like i know i just did that but I need a look so so what I'm going to start off with is this one right here can you guys see that yeah I'm going to start off with that one so coating the brush seems to be really easy um I do see there's a little kickback which is not the greatest but I mean a lot of palettes do that so it's not that big of a deal but I'm just going to start by putting it on the outer edge to diffuse the product. Whoa, sorry. And then blend in. Because you always want the darker colors more on the outer edge. Okay, so you can't probably really see anything. But first impressions, this is actually like pretty impressive. Because a lot of... Um, bright colors sorry a lot of bright colors like take up like a lot to build but, like already you see the color right there so that's really good to know this is more of a transition color i didn't and i like this though because i didn't want to go in with like a super dark color from the start i always put a transition but like when i put on transitions i usually do oranges and i didn't want to do an orange because um that doesn't go with the purples so i'm just gonna be doing the same thing and so far that like packs pigment like that's a really good eyeshadow so far so that's really good okay so i'm just gonna keep blending do this on the other side then i'll come back with my next color now i'm gonna be taking this color right here and i'm just gonna put that like a little lower right here just for like a little pop because I mean this whole thing is filled with pop but just because I like filling in that one little part right there so yeah um there's not as much kickback with this one or it might be because I'm just like not hitting it as much so that might be why but um, now I'm gonna just take this one right here and just put that on the outer and blend that. I need to hurry up because I'm leaving in like 20 minutes, so... But these don't seem patchy whatsoever and like that's a lot of pigment. Like for neon colors, this is actually really good. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm like just trying to hurry up kind of, but that's like straight pigment and like that didn't take any building up. So if you like to build up your shadows, I don't know how you would like this, but if you like pigment and like you like doing things quick this would be your girl 
Um, this is $68, so it has a steep price, but you get 28 shades. So, okay, so I did see some kickback with that one, but I will be right back. I'm going to finish this off by using this color right here. Let's see. This is the first shimmer shade I'm using. So, for good product, I mean, that's a lot of pigmentation, but I had to, like, kind of, like, dig in there. So, I don't know if that's, like, a good thing or a bad thing, but... I always spray something on my brush, so that's not because like this is bad because I haven't tried it yet, but let's try it. Okay, so first off, that's really pretty. Um, I don't know if it's because of the spray or if it's because of the shadow, but either way, that is beautiful. That's really pretty, okay. I should probably use a different brush, but this would be like, this look would be so pretty for Valentine's Day. But um, this palette is limited edition. I It's limited edition. I don't know if they'll keep it limited edition just because it's been getting really good reviews. But so far for right now, it's limited edition. Do I believe that? No. But am I gonna tell you guys that? Yeah, because I just wanted to let you guys know every single thing that I know about this palette. Um, sorry, I'm playing music, but um, so far, I'm really liking these. I think with this one, it's kind of like, it's making my eyes look a little more textured than they really are though, which is not the best. And it's kind of hard to put on this one without the Fix Plus. So, um, that's not the greatest thing ever, but we can fix it. I mean, I think it's not the hardest thing to fix, you know? So. But it's not patchy. I just, the shimmer shades remind me of the eyeshadows from, um, Natasha Denona. So if you've ever tried Natasha Denona shadows, you know that, like, her shadows are, like, like her um her shimmer shades are kind of crumbly and like i don't know if it's just this shade because like this shade seemed a little wacky anyways but um this shade specifically is like like natasha's so just thought i'd tell you guys that um now i'm gonna use a smaller brush same shade but smaller brush just to get more in the inner corner Okay, so that was good for the inner corner. Okay, so it sticks. I mean, it's not. Yeah, so this eyeshadow isn't terrible. I do not hate it. It just has. It definitely has like a lot of kickback because it it's a shadow, yes, but like it kind of crumbles. Like I'll try to zoom in on that. Um, but other than that, no patches, no nothing like that. So, um, and. On my eyes, I didn't get any fallout, so um, I'd say this is a hit. I've heard a lot of things about this, but like I haven't heard enough for how good this is. Like, dang, dude. Yeah, so I really like this. My face looks so white right now because I don't have anything on but okay so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. So I'm back my makeup is finished if you couldn't tell um I actually did go somewhere between when I was doing my makeup in the first part of the video and now um I went to the movies with my girlfriend and her sister so this is two hours wear of the eyeshadow look um I'd say it's doing pretty well um I my only com my only complaint is that the eyeshadow that I used on my lid, so this one right here, actually, let me pull out the palette. Um, this one. That one right there. Can you guys see that one? Let me see if it has a name. It actually, it kind of was disgustingly, oh, it's called Pink Quartz in the palette. That one is really gritty to the touch. Now, I haven't really touched any of the other, um, 
shimmer shades. Wow, I couldn't think. Um, I haven't touched any of those yet, but that's the only one I touched. And as you can tell, I barely swatched it. And like you see like that buildup right there. Can you guys see that? So um, it's kind of gritty feeling, which it swatches really pretty when you get that gritty feel off of it i think it was just maybe like the first layer because like that looks really pretty so it might have just been the top layer um you guys can maybe try to scratch that off if you do end up purchasing this palette um it creased like it's in my crease but like that's because i have hooded lids that's so not that's like a user error that's not the palette itself because that's gonna happen with any of my eyeshadows like it sucks but it happens so that's that um i'm gonna see if i can try to do swatches of these so the pros of this is like pigment is on point like the pigment is crazy <laughs> um the only thing is is that like it has like a lot of kickback um i only used three or four shades out of this and Sorry, I heard my princess are talking to me. Um, the purple didn't have much kickback. I might have not just been digging in enough. The purple and pink didn't, but the magenta... Here, I'll show you guys. Sorry. These two didn't have much, but the magenta over here did, and so did the pink quartz. So take that information with what you will. Um, I'm going to see if I can swatch all these on camera, and then I'll be back. This is the first row, so this is this row right here. Um, as you can tell from the swatches, I'm trying to angle it, I did it so badly, but um, the first white is actually really pigmented. It seems like a little patchy in the swatch, but whites are hard to come by easily, so that's actually a pretty nice white. The next four shades are more of like that duochrome kind of look. Like You can tell that you see the color, but like if you know what I mean, it's like kind of like anastasia moonchild vibes if you get what i mean those ones are really soft and creamy and then the last two shades they are more like the sparkly glittery mixed in um they're very shiny but those are the type of shades that you need to use some type of spray to have it cling onto the brush like you want it so the two last ones were a little more gritty than the first five but other than that they're all really good and they swatched very well these are swatches from the second row. Um, they're very, very pigmented. Um, when I swatched them, they were all really creamy. All of them are matte besides the last one. That's more of a blackened blue shimmer. Um, the peach looks a little patchy, but I feel like translated on the eyes, it would be a little more um, pigmented and it would blend nicely because that magenta one, the third one, blended super nicely and so did the um, third to the last one also. Like those ones were very pigmented and they blended nicely so I would have no doubts about the others blending nicely. Um, I swatched down only one time like I didn't do like a double swatch or anything because I wanted you guys to see the true swatches and I think these are beautiful. These are, or, I can't talk, these are extremely neon um i feel like the first color was more of an orange in the palette but it translates as more of a yellow which is kind of weird but i dig it because i love yellows so there's that and yeah so that's this row on to the next this is the third row so as you can tell already that shimmer the first one is very blinding um it looks, again, it looks more green in the pan and then translated on the skin. It looks a little more like icy um, with like a green undertone. So I don't know what's that about, but I actually really prefer it on my skin tone. So that's very pretty. Um, the next one is a lime green, which actually has a lot of pigment for it being a neon. I was expecting not that much pigment for the next two ones but those are actually really pigmented for neon colors so i give them props for that honestly um the third one is actually very soft i thought it might be a little more gritty like their other um shimmers but that one's very soft and so is the last shimmer and the two blues blues are really hard to come by so yeah they look like they don't look as pigmented as you would wish but like that 
blue right there is actually really pigmented so I give them props and I think that this is spot on like I think this is amazing so on to the next one. so this is the very last row the first one is actually the one that I use on my lids and swatching it now it looks way better than what it did when I originally swatched it I really did think that it was just the top layer um, so if you have any difficulties with any of the shimmers I do think that you should just either wait and um, scrape off the first layer or take a brush and just kind of dig through it until you get into the more like middle area um, the rest of these were pretty soft that magenta one the fourth color kind of had the same feel the Natasha Denona once again it was a little more gritty than the other ones but overall it was still performed very nicely on the skin as you can tell from the swatch um I feel like that green was a little out of place like I feel like it goes with the, those warm tones but I don't know I feel like the green should have gone with the greens that's just me though um and then that black I wish that the black didn't have shimmer I don't think like if you can tell from the palette I don't think since it's like glitter it, that it'll transfer onto the eyes but these are so beautiful I'm really impressed with Sephora like this being their own brand this is something that you wouldn't even get from brands like Too Faced or Kat Von D or anything like that like these are really nice so I'm very proud of them and overall this is what the palette looks like with flash on <sighs> it's so beautiful so I feel like the best shades in here are the mattes. I feel like the mattes are just very nice. And for neon colors, they did a great job. Um, I don't know if I'll reach for these two that much. Just because I'm not a cool tone person. So I probably won't reach for this area. But this area is going to be my jam. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this palette. Um, so yeah, that's my review. So overall, I do recommend this palette. I mean, it has amazing swatches. Like it's very pigmented and sometimes swatches don't do the same on the eyes as they did on the, um, swatch, but those did like they performed beautifully on the eyes and the, um, arm. I do my, only complaint my only complaint is that the they would have taken more time on the more gritty ones um i feel like they're still very pretty but it always sucks to like have to scrape off a top layer on something that you spent so much money on because i don't know if i already said this already but it is 68 dollars without tax and fees added on but it is limited edition so if you want to get it i would say get it now it's in store and online Sorry, I can't talk right now. Um, there's also a warm palette and a cool tone palette, which my mom has. Um, but I only got the editorial one because that was the only one in store. And not only that, but that's the one I wanted most because I love my colorful looks. Because you can either do a fun look and do something like crazy. Or you can do something a little more toned down but still very pretty on the eyes like this. Um, my only other complaint is that I wish they had a yellow in here. Like, I feel like it's an editorial palette. It's supposed to have, like, all the colors. And, like, they even, like, they had four different types of blues. But they didn't have one yellow. Like, I just wanted one yellow one. And I don't think there's one in the warm tone palette either. So that kind of bums me out. But this palette's still beautiful. I still recommend this palette. And... There you go. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm probably like, I sound weird because, like, I don't, like, I was so repetitive in this video, and it's because, like, all the shadows performed very well. Like, I don't know what else to say. But other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. I really love hearing what you guys have to say or like any comments whatsoever. Like it makes me feel happy inside. Um, also, my next video, I want to do a Q&A because that's what you guys wanted. So if you guys have any questions, please comment them. Um, I've gotten a few questions, but I haven't gotten many to like do the Q&A. So like if you guys have any, please let me know. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.